As anticipation for these crowds throughout social networking sites grew, two weeks ago, hundreds of people out of the 20,000 who signed up for these protests came out onto the street. This let the financial district initially breathe a sigh of relief, as well as gave the mainstream media the opportunity to marginalize these crowds as a fringe group. But they have vowed to stay here until December. And as the attention towards these people grows, their strength to continue fighting the system is only getting bigger. This could be the, the skeleton of a revolution, you know, the beginning of one possibly. But I don't think uh, people in America overall are awake in a metaphorical sense to Wait, awake enough to actually start a revolution that will change the way our government is run. As high-profile activists and scholars started joining these crowds, it became harder for the media to ignore these demonstrations. It also became hard for most Americans to not take these crowds seriously as police brutality started to occur. Last weekend, over 80 protesters were arrested. Several women were surrounded by a police net and maced with pepper spray. But these protesters say they're willing to pay any price to get their voices heard. A lot of people are talking about the the one percent, you know, and you know, a fraction of the one percent that have all the money and really all the power if you think about it, because what they say goes, they influence a lot of decisions, which doesn't help anyone else but them. So that's why everyone else is getting screwed, you know. As the protests gather force and union support, many are beginning to wonder if this could become reminiscent of what America saw in Wisconsin this winter, where up to 70,000 people essentially stormed the Capitol building because their voices were also ignored. It was also union support that made as many as 250,000 people come out onto the streets in Europe. The protesters are here for a simple reason. They feel duped and defrauded by the system that led Wall Street greed, kick off a financial meltdown that led to an economic collapse. One in six Americans are currently living in poverty. Bankers were held unaccountable, and it was the people who were left to suffer. A lot of people are hurting right now. They say the time for real change has finally come. Bankers have to pay the price for a shattered economy. These demonstrators are planning to stay here and grow in numbers until a real, peaceful revolution occurs. After all, if the Arab Spring was applauded by the powers that be, why not listen to a similar cry for change at home? Mr. Cherkina, RT, New York.